So hello everyone. I am Neelam Kumari Prasad from class DYBSC Computer Science. For today, I'm going to present a presentation on the topic aptitude questions. So let's go toward the presentation. Okay. Over here, we have the content for today's presentation. Firstly, I'm going to discuss in regard to the logical reasoning questions. In that, I am going to discuss the subsections of series, then analogy nonverbal, then blood relation, and lastly, coding decoding. Then second section I'm going to discuss is of quantitative aptitude in that it basically deals with mathematical questions like LCM, profit and loss, average of numbers, square. And the last is of verbal section. That is, it comprises of English questions like antonyms, synonyms, spot the errors. Moving to our first type of question, that is logical reasoning questions on series. Over here, series have basically of three types. It can be of numeric, that is, it consists of just numbers, one, two hundred, means any number I can see. Then second is letters, that is A, B, C, D. Then alphanumeric, that is alphabetic plus numeric in that way. Then there are different ways of asking questions. So the first is that you will be asked to identify the next number in CD, that is two, four, six. Then you will give a question mark, means identify the next number. Then missing number. A middle number will not be given and you will be asked to find that middle term or odd group. You will be given with a odd number of groups and you will be asked that to identify, identify the odd number in between them. Then on my side, I have different for you guys. So first tip, every time find a relation or a pattern between the numbers, we will see the questions on this type. Just understand what I'm saying, tips for solving. So first, identify the relation or a pattern. Second, Find the difference between the two series. Means uh, whenever we are dealing with a number, see that what's the difference? Uh, in short, I want to say that. Okay. So if we are now having number two, four, six, then what's the difference? Just we have to add plus two. We will get the next number. In that way, see the what's the difference. Then third tip, if number is so big, then just remember that it's a question in regard to square. It can be a cube question or a multiplication in that way. And fourth, if increase is slow or constant, then it is a type of addition, subtraction, division, or a prime number type of questions. So let's take a look on a question. So first question, look at the series seven, 10, 8, 11, 9, 12, dash, what number should come next? So as I have said that, look at the pattern. My first tip was, look at the pattern. So let's see at the pattern, guys. So if you can, if you see at the pattern, you will see that, If you look at the pattern, you will see that there is something like plus two minus two means there is a pattern. It is following a some kind of pattern. So if I add eight, nine means if I add two numbers, that is eight, nine in seven, I will get 10. In similar way, if I minus two, it is 8, 9, 10 means if I do plus 3, I will get 10. If I do minus 2, I will get 8. In similar way, if I do plus 3, I will get 11. If I do minus 2, I will get 9, right? So in that way, the sequence is working. So what will be the next answer? If we do over here, it's over here, minus 2. So over here, if we do minus 2 means 12 minus 2 what we will get we will get the answer 10. so let's see whether the answer is 10 or not okay so the current answer is 10. over here as the explanation says 
that it is a kind of addition of three and subtraction of two. Moving to the next question, that is, you are given with the alphabetical series, that is S C D T E F U G H dash W K L, and four options are given to you. That is I J T V I J U J I C M N. So let's see that how we can solve this question. So let's look at the pattern. So if you see carefully, you will see that we have two series. See S T U S C T U means this alphabet, the first letter of every alph words means S C D T E F. We are getting a series that is S T U. Then what will be the next number? But obviously it will be V. And then V W, right? W. So if you see the options, you will clearly understand the second V I J is the answer. But let's confirm it. See over here. C D E F G H means over here we have a plus one addition, right? So does this option V I J stands over this as well condition? So C plus one it stands means V I J is the correct answer. So V I J is the correct answer. Moving to the next question, find the missing term. P fifteen thirty five dash ninety nine one forty three. The options are eighty one, sixty nine, sixty three, seventy seven. So, if you see over here, the change is not gradual. It's like a big difference is a big difference we are seeing in this question, right? So it can be a type of a square questions, a cube question in that way. So let's took an approach to this question in that way only, guys. So see, over here, two square. What we get after doing two square? We get four. And we do if we do minus one from here, what we get? We get three, right? In similar way, two. Means two two is a four, and if we do the square of four, we get sixteen, and if we subtract one from the sixteen, we will get fifteen. Two two is a four, then over here eight. Then what we will get for eight square? So sir, two two is a four, two three is a six. Eight over here eight, we have six. Then what we will get for Six square, we will get thirty six, and if we subtract thirty six minus one, what we will get? We will get thirty five. Then what will be the term over here? It will be two two the four, two three the six, then two four the eight, and we will then we will do the square of it. What we will get? We will get sixty four, and we when we when we will subtract one from the sixty four. We will get sixty-three. So there is an option sixty-three. Let's see whether it's correct or not. So the correct option is sixty-three. Means see over explanation. If you don't understand, two square minus one. That is then two to the two one the two two to the four two three the six. The square of each number minus one. It's a kind of difficult question, but you should understand this type of question as well, guys. Moving to the next question. This question is a type of an alphabetical series only. So, see question. Y Z A U S B P K E. Which of the following will fit the above sequence? Means we have to find the kind of a sequence which will fit this sequence. So, let's see that what's the logic behind this question. So, um. A simple tip, guys. Whenever you're solving a question of based on alphabets, just draw the alphabets and give the number to them. 
so that it becomes easy to solve the questions of this kind. So now let's solve this question. Why? Detect the alphabet in this table. Why? Then Z over here. Then we have A, right? So when you subtract Y from Z, means this Y from Z, what we are getting, that is Z 26 minus 25, what we get? One, that is value of A. Once again, I will repeat. Whenever you subtract this Y from Z, we get the answer of A. In similar way, let's do it, do it, do this for USB. So you over here, right? Then S and then B. Then what should be the condition? Whenever we subtract U from S, we should get B. That is U from S. That is let's do that. Okay, 19 21 minus 19. That is what we should get 2. Over here we have B, right? So this should be the pattern followed. So if you look this at them, MHF. So let's do for this option M. Then there is the H over here and F. By doing the subtraction from this two number, we should get F, right? So let's see that whether we are getting it or not. So whenever we subtract M, H, what we get? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, with 5. Whether the value of F is 5? No. Means this is not the right option. Let's see it for O, I, F. So over here, O, then I, and then F. Let's see whether the subtraction between these two numbers, that is O, I, F, uses F or not. So O and I means 15 minus 9. What we get? 6 means O, I, F is the correct option. So we have the option O, I, F. Moving to the next type of question, it is analogy non-verbal. So for this type of question, there's a simple tip. Just we need a close observation, analysis of figure, so that we can find the solution. So uh, it can be done in three ways. These observations can be done in three ways. First, rotation. Look at the rotation of the figure, right? in which way it is rotating. Second, dislocation. And third, interchange. We will take a look on each type of question that is based on rotation, dislocation, interchange. So let's dive directly into the questions. So the first question, it's based on the dislocation of figures. So see, find out missing figure of the problem from the given answer figures. So as I say, the, this is a kind of a dislocation, means something is going to dislocate. So see, these arrows are connected, means to this, right? But in this next figure, it is dislocated, means see what's happening when we're saying a dislocation. It's getting opposite, means it's getting separated from it, dislocated. So what should be done over here? It's connected. If we are saying that we want to disconnect, means it should be like, like that, right? So what will... And these figures are remaining same, means this one I'm speaking about. These figures remain the same, right? So over here, same thing. We have two options. This one, this one, but this is too short, right? So the correct option should be two. So let's see. Right option is option number two. Or the second logic also, and this was the one logic, or we can apply another logic as, as well. It's like rotation, means if you see, it is rotating. Means the first over here it was, and when it was rotated, it comes over here. Means it, it was kind of rotation as well. In similar way, we say for this, it is locating, means see, two boxes, this one and this two. In similar way, for over here as well, it has done one, two, two boxes. That's a kind of rotation. So next question, over here find the missing figure. If you see 
see this is an also kind of an rotation example so see what happening i will draw an axis over here see this square is over here or i can see this top i will see this top right this top is here then suppose it comes over here and then over here so as you can see it's here in similar we will do we will do for this as well okay it's for this figure so it's over here then you should come over here and then here so let's see where the cap for this over here so this is in this figure so the option 2 should be the correct let's see the option 2 is the correct figure in short the entire figure rotates by 180 degree moving to the next question find out the missing figure this is also question based on missing figure but it is a type of an interchange of figures means the figures are going to interchange in short c here we have an means outer side we have an multiplication kind of sign right and in the middle we have a addition sign but in this figure what happens the things get interchange this addition gets to the outer side and this multiplication and this multiplication which which was the outer side comes in you know, means the figures are getting interchanged between themselves so what will be over here it will done it will be like uh, yeah what will be happen means this multiplication will be interchanged means where the plus and we are getting we will get this multiplication over here over here right and this addition is outer side means it should be over here right and the box image is the same as it is so this should be the kind of figure so let's see that we have this kind of option yeah we option p option 3 is the correct answer moving to the next question this is also a kind of an example of question based on figures but a little bit different if you see it needs a close observation or an analysis so it's simple let's see the side for it has three sides right this figure has three sides and this outer figure how much side it has it has four means three is is enclosed in the four side shape so over here means plus one right so what should be here this is a four and if we do plus one how much sides we get five means this square this rectangle should be enclosed in a five side shape so where is it this one let's see the fourth option okay so one two three four five. it's six means it's not the answer we want five right so one two three four five means option three is the correct answer moving to the next type of questions now i will take the question based on the blood relations so blood relations question based so pointing out to a lady raja said she is the daughter of a woman who is the mother of the husband of my mother who is the lady to raja and we have have the options aunt granddaughter daughter sister so this is a kind of a question where we need to identify the relation between the two persons but for this guys i will suggest you one thing that uh, let's go to the chrome so uh, if you want to study this kind of logical reasoning questions you can go to the website career ride um, just a minute career ride.com and if you go to the website you will see what's the requirement for solving uh, the kind of questions of blood relations so i'm visiting this site so that i can show that what's the requirement if you want to solve a kind of a blood relation questions so if you see over here you should know this chart first you should just go through this chart once so that you can understand the relations how it is been done it is father of father or mother is grandfather then mother of father or mother is our grandmother 
then wife of grandfather is our grandmother so now we go through this chart once friend you can go once i mean understand this relations and you it will be easy for you to solve the uh, blood relation questions right so just go through this and let's go back to a question so a question blood basic one uh, for this specific question i will say just for this question i am dealing with just backtrack the questions if it is in format of dialogue backtrack the question it becomes easy to solve it so let's see let's solve it my mother my means my see raja said let's consider it raja is not no one but i am the raja okay so raja this circle is raja my mother means raja's mother okay so over here mother husband of my mother who is the husband of my mother but obviously my father right mother of the husband mother of the husband means my grandmother woman who is the mother daughter of the woman who is the mother of husband daughter of the woman means who will be she she is the daughter of my grandmother then who is she of my father she is the sister of my father then what's the relation who is the lady to raja means what's the relation between these two but obviously she will be my aunt what we say mossy she will be my aunt so what's the option correct option is aunt so you can see the relations over here in the explanation moving ahead to the next question anil introduces rohit as the son of only brother of his father's wife how is rohit related to anil options are given over here let's solve this question anil introduces let's consider anil is no one but me myself i will consider as anil so just a minute okay anil backtrack the question as i will say backtrack the question Fa rohit as the son of the only brother of his father's wife father's wife who is she but obviously my mother father's wife who is she mother right brother of his father's wife brother of father's wife brother of her mother who is he he can be a verb maternal uncle right means uh, what we say mama right maternal uncle son of the only brother means son of our mama rohit as the son means this is who this is rohit and this is me means anil for this question right then what's the relation between this how is the rohit related to anil but obviously they are cousins means that right option is cousin here's the explanation the relation may be analyzed as follows father wife is a mother my mother's brother is a maternal uncle maternal uncle is mama my uncle son is my cousin so rohit is anil's cousin moving to the next type of question now we will deal with uh the type of question okay so now we will deal with the type of question that is coding decoding question we will do in a certain language if sunshine sunshine is coded as t v o t i j o f then how will moon be coded let's see just a minute Okay. So the options are N P Q, N P P O, P O N, N Q, Q P. So let's see how it will be solved. So as I say, it is a kind of coding decoding. Let's do it. So first, write this. Sunshine over here. S U N. 
F H I N and over here we will have E. Let's write this one as well in just in sequence we will write T V O T I J O F and then let's see what happened. S T means plus one, right? U V similarly plus one. In simple way for all this, we have plus one relation. S T H I I J plus one relation. So let's solve this for moon as well. M O O N. So what should be there? M plus one N O if we do plus one P similar way P N we have O then what will be the answer N P P O where is it option B is the correct answer over here N P P O is the correct answer moving to the next question if life is coded as F E L I how is more coded is yes. this question is very simple Let's do it fast. Okay. So if you see over here, L I F E. Just the places are replaced. Means L I goes here and F E goes here, right? So what will happen for Mori? It will seem M O means M O will go over here. And this R E will go over here, means R. E means it will be like answer will be R E M O means option C is the right answer. So moving to our next question. Okay. So if snow is coded as 7100, then wall will be coded as. So let's see the options for it. Of your option that 5000, your option 4700, 4800, and 4000. So, for this, we need this chart. We need this chart. Always remember whenever, always remember whenever you're solving a question based on alphabet and you are asking the numbers, then always use the chart. It become easy to derive anything. So let's solve it. So as you can see, explanation. You, uh, we are seeing the numbers assigned to the specific alphabet. That is, for S, 19 is assigned, right? For N, what is assigned over here? As you can see, 14. Then for O, 15. And for W, we have 23. And when we calculate this, when we add when we add all these numbers, what we get? 71. And then further on, we add double zero to it. It's just a logical, means these questions are based on logical reasoning. So we are adding over here double zero, means we are just giving extra two zeros. It is not about any addition or subtraction, just we are giving it two zeros. Means this is the logic for this. How snow is decoded means how snow is coded is 7100. In similar way, we have to do for wall so that we get this final answer. So uh, we will do it. So see how uh, what is for W? It's 23. For A, but always A is on the first position, we will have one, right? For L, what do we have for L? You can see over here, we have 12, right? We have once again L, then once again we will add it 12. So when we add 23 plus 1 plus 12 plus 12, what do we get? We get 48, right? And as I've said, we have to put two extra zeros. So let's put it. So two extra zeros. So what do we get answer? 4800. So the correct answer is option C. Moving to the next question. And the list number which is exactly divisible by 12, 15, and 20. 
This is a kind of an LCM question. This is the type of an LCM of composite numbers. Options are 40, 50, 60, and 80. So uh, let's go with this chart so that we can solve this because it's not possible to write everything on screen. So we will refer this one. I hope it's fine. We will refer this chart. So as we will, we have to find the list number in regard to 12, 15, and 20. So I have mentioned this all number is 12, 15, and 20. And now we will divide those numbers. That is, we will divide 12 by 3. That is, 3 fours are 12. 15 is not divided by uh, 3 fives are 15. Okay. What is it? 3 fives are 15. But if you see next number, it is not possible to divide 20 by 3. If we divide, we will get, we will get a decimal number. And we don't want that. So what we will do? We will write this number as it is over here, 20. Okay. So now next, over here there is 4. We can divide this number by 2 as well or by 4. But over here I have taken 4. So I will go with the 4. So 4 ones are 4. But 4 is not divided by 5. As I say, we will get a decimal number. So we will write 5 as it is. 4 is divided by 20. So yeah, 4 fives are 20, right? Again, 1 we have to divide. But if you see the two numbers further, we can take 5 because if we do this, it's possible means it's easy and we what we will do means is short see five is not divided by one right so what we will do we will write this number as it is then five ones are five in similar way over here five ones are five so now we as we, as you can see we have get the list number so what do we get Over here, three, four, five, and this triple one. These are our numbers. So what we will do to find our list of number, we will multiply this all. It is three into four, into five, into one, into one, into one. That is what we get, 60. So this is what we want. Required list number is 60. So option C is the correct answer. Moving to the next question. This is a question based on the profit and loss. So, question is, a shopkeeper sells an article for rupees 200 with a loss of rupees 20%. Find the cost price. And over here, we have the options. From this question, only you can derive that we have to find the cost price. It means we require the, form, means we require the formula for solving such type of questions. We have studied all these formulas in our um, previous classes. Just we need to revise those all so that we can solve the questions of this type in the examination. So over here, explanation for this particular question. This is the formula which we will use for this question. That is cost price equals to 100, per 100 divided by 100 minus loss into selling price. So. What the selling price is given? We are given with 200. And what's the loss? 20, right? So, cost price. We will substitute just the value. That is loss 20, selling price 200. Right? So, we get this particular number. The next, we will do it again. This is just, this is not something different. We are just solving this over here and what the final the final answer we get is 250 means the correct answer is option b you can use a calci for this particular no you need to solve it handwritten but you can solve it it's a simple multiplication and division question guys so moving to the next question it is a question based on average of numbers means uh, See, question is there. The average of 11 numbers is 30. 
if the average of first six numbers is 17.5 and that of last six is 42.5, then what is the sixth number we have been asked, right? We have the options. So guys, for this questions, just read the question once and twice, means until you understand it. So if, see, let's see what is happening over here. So see what happens. Average of 11 numbers is 30. Means there is how many numbers are the total? We have total. How many numbers? We have total 11 numbers, right? And it's average. What? It's average is 30. But in this 11 numbers, I'm speaking, if the average of first six numbers means we have total 11 numbers, right? But the first six numbers, what we get the average of this first six numbers we are given with 17.5, right? And that of last six, last six, what we are getting, what we are given with 42.5. So if you see, then what is the sixth number? And we have been asked that what's the sixth number? Means we are being given with a series of number. Then we have been given addition of first sixth number, then the last sixth number. And we have been asked that what is the sixth number over here? We have been given the average and we have been asked to find the number itself. Means total we have 12 numbers, but the total average is given to be 30 and that is of only 11 numbers. Means one number is pending that we have to find. So let's take uh, look, a look on the explanation. So calculate total of 11 numbers. What we have, you know how we find average, we take uh, suppose that three friends. So every friend we will take, then how many diff, these are three? And then we give over here the average, right? Suppose it's 30. And we have been asked over here to find this, means in this, no? So what we will do over here, multiplication of this two. This number goes here and it gets multiplied. In that way, this is being solved. So 11 into 30, we get 330. 17.5 into 6, we get 105 and 42.5 into 6, we get 225. And for finding 6 number, what we do? This 30 number, what it is? We have been given what we find here 330 means this is 11 number now. And what for what we want 12. So if we minus this total from this, what we will get our final answer? That's what we are doing over here. We are subtracting this 11 total from this total of 12. And we get the final answer. Means this number from this two average by doing this addition of 2. So what we get the final answer? 30. The final answer is option number A, 30. Moving to the next question. So this is a question based on the square. Let's take a look on the equation. What is the least number by which 16,800 must be divided to get a number which is perfect square? We have to find the perfect square. Options have been given to you. Four options, 42, 40, 21, 24. So what is the least number? So for this, just we can do a simple thing. Divide every number by 16,800. Means uh, this number is given to you. Divide this number. Divide it by 40, 21, and see what number you get. If you get a perfect square, means that option is right option. So let's take 42. If I divide 16,800 by 42, what I will get? I will get 400, right? Is this perfect square? Is this a perfect square? Yes, it's a perfect square. 
means option A is the correct answer. You can try this for remaining these three numbers. You will not get a perfect square. And then you can conclude. Moving to the next question. So uh, we have been reached to the end of our presentation. This is a question based on verbal section. Verbal is an English question. Over here we will deal with antonym. Means opposite. Simple. The word ample is given. Four options have been given. Complete, insufficient, quite, supple. So what is opposite for ample? Opposite for ample is option B, insufficient. Similarly, we have second question for antony antonym, that is sullen. Options are dirty, cheerful, clean, rising. So what will be the answer? Opposite of sullen, it will be cheerful. That is option B. It's simple question, means based on your knowledge, it will be. Your vocabulary should be strong enough to deal with this kind of question, guys. So next question. This is a kind of a question where we have to spot the error. Means where the mistake has been done. So let's the question. No sooner did the nurse enter the house than the patient died. So and means C and no error. So if there is no error, we will uh, do the means options as this four. Then um, we have this two. So where the error is the spot, where you find the error, just look at the sentence and see where you will find the error. If you look carefully, it's small grammatical mistakes. Then what should be over here grammatically? It should be T-H-A-N then, right? Means option three is wrong. Means what should be the answer? This. Four. Just a minute. Oh, the correct sentence should be no sooner did the enter the house than the patient die. Means third. I mean third one is the wrong. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Option B is the and I means option B is correct. Over here, I think so. There is an error. Option B is the correct answer. Third is the wrong. I means over here we have spotted the error. So option B is the correct answer. Moving to the next. Okay. Our presentation has been ended. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.